Looking for Madden 22 Ultimate Team Coins? AOEAH.com is the cheapest and most reliable coins on the marketplace. Click the link in the description and use coupon code SPORTS for 3% off your order. YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com. And in today's Madden 22 tip video, I'm going to break down the only defense you need in the game to stop both the run and the pass. This defense is very easy to set up. It has good coverage. It's good run D. It actually contains the mobile quarterback escape artist. You know, and you get good pressure all with still being able to disguise your defense. Now, this tip will work no matter what system you play on. The console doesn't matter. The mode doesn't matter. It's very, very easy and effective. Now, we're going to be looking at the big dime. Um, this formation, the 2 3 6, can be found in a few different playbooks. In this video, I'm using the Ravens playbook defensively. Now, with this defense, you're mostly going to be rushing four, so you're really relying upon your D line to get pressure. So, you really want the two interior pass rushers, the D tackles, where you see Donald and Robinson to be good pass rushers. Now, the ends, they're, you know, they can get some pressure. But they're more so responsible for contain. Um, with these guys, I really look to have speed more than anything else, if I'm being honest. Now, another important thing to note is that, I mean, yes, you could have your D tackle here. You see Day, he's 80 overall, I believe it says. But really, you want more so ends, unless the D tackle is a better pass rusher at the spot. Because they're going to be getting you a lot of pressure. Now, at the linebacker position, you can put in safeties. That's what I recommend doing. You'll be using these guys a lot. So as far as the secondary players go, speed above all else. Now, we're going to show you guys some different examples of how to use this defense against different offensive tactics. But as far as your coaching adjustments go, I like to have auto flip on. Again, always to align to the strong side of the offensive formation. It's better for run D and pass coverage. Um, you could set your zone drops for your flats and your curl flats and your hook zones if you want. You don't have to. Um, I kind of adjust that throughout the game depending upon what my opponent's doing. But generally speaking, because we're going to be running a Tampa 2 look. In Tampa 2. So if I'm running Tampa 2, I normally like to put my flats on 30 and my curl flats on 5. What that basically allows me to do is, by default, I can take away the deep sideline passes. And, you know, if someone starts hurting me underneath, then I can throw curl flats out there to defend at the 5 yards. So... Let's go ahead and get into it now. So I want to start with how this will stop a lot of the, you know, meta you see online. Now, as I'm setting this up, just a reminder, I do free Madden 22 tip videos on a daily basis on the channel. I also do gameplays and news too. So if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications, comment on the video. And if you're really rocking me, smash that like button. I'd really like to get 300 likes on this video. If we can do that, we'll bring you guys another fire tip. So guys, this is a pretty easy defense to set up. Basically, all I do is I pinch my defensive line, spread my linebackers out, base on line, and you can press or not press. That's completely up to you. Now, cover two, it can get bombed, right? It, it really can. So what I typically like to do is whichever one of these safeties or linebackers, whatever you want to call them, I'm not using, what I do is I put them in the middle third. And what that does is this has the safety dropping back right down the middle of the field, so it's much harder to split the seams with the deep post routes. Now, as you know, there's certain plays on this game that can almost bomb any coverage pretty much. So, like, yes, if they have a million years in the pocket, they might still could bomb this. But the thing about this is, is most likely they're not going to even have the time for that. So the last thing I'm going to do is QB contain, and I do that by hitting the R1, R1, and that's going to bring out my contain. So... I'm going to be responsible for using the middle of the field with this defense. As you guys can see, um, I actually have a vert hook over here. He's going to, if I wanted to, I could put him in the curl flat to, you know, cover underneath where my actual flat zones were dropping super deep. But really, I'm responsible for the middle of the field with my user. Now, what's cool about this defense, this is one of the formations in the game. There's, there's several of them, honestly, of different alignments and different adjustments, but mainly different alignments. Um, if I go ahead and try to double team either of the edge rushers, as you guys can see, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm trying to click over to the right. It's not working over to the left. Same thing. You can't double team the edge rushers. So what that means is if we go ahead and immediately just try to roll out at the snap 
And another thing I would suggest is if they're passing a lot, just pass them at two. That is going to be helpful. Now, again, because we can't really double team the, the edge defender that's on the contain, if we were just to say, hey, we're going to snap the ball and, you know, just try to immediately roll out, what you're going to notice is that edge rusher, he's not going to be able to get double teamed, so it's a lot harder to get around him. If you're enjoying my YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out sportsgamers.com. This is where I post all my premium Madden 22 content. I have ebooks, offensive and defensive schemes, plus I do four to six premium tips every week in the Madden Vault. This content is available for both current and next gen, so no matter what system you play on, we got you guys covered. Our best offer yet is the Sports Gamers Madden VIP membership. This gives you access to the entire site, every tip, every ebook, plus the meta reports for only $19.99. I'll post a link to it in the description and the comments. Make sure to check it out for the best tips and content available at the best price anywhere. Um, he's going to come off that block a lot better. He didn't I, Honestly, he didn't do the best job right there. But again, we're spreading the linebackers out, which is what's allowing them to get super wide so they can't double team us. Now, once again, um, you know, we can try to do it. It's just not going to work. And like you see, as soon as you, you just basically run into the contain. Now... There are ways to glitch contains, um, so that's why you basically need to have the fastest players possible at those positions. So if someone does know how to glitch contains, it doesn't work. With all that said, this is a super easy defense, though, to, for the most part, contain the mobile quarterback. So getting kind of back into what I was saying, though, when someone's running a specific play with your coverage scheme, you pretty much know that with 30-yard flats, you have deep corners, uh, deep crossers, Deep routes on the sideline are covered. So if you were to put, say, if they were attacking the flat, this kind of curl flat, then you have the flat cover too, you don't really worry about bombs too much because, again, you have the seam covered. You're really responsible with your user for the middle of the field. Now, if they do run the ball, your job would be to shoot the gap. It's actually pretty easy to do out of this formation on most inside zones. So really you're looking for the run, and then also what you're going to be looking for is to basically – covered the middle of the field so at the end of the day if somebody realizes they can't roll out and they just kind of are sitting in the pocket this is why you need the interior of your line to have a good pass rush because as you guys can see here you know they don't really have that long to make reads now if they would have had forever they could have noticed that i came off of that hook route to guard the post see i was kind of sitting down on the hook but i did see that Right about now, 94 starts to shed. As soon as I see that, I leave the hook, go to the post, and they have to take the sack. And actually, Donald ends up shedding at the same time, too. So that's why this defense is important to have a good D-line is because, like, yeah, we're not actually blitzing, you know, um, you know, our extra defenders, whether it be secondary players, linebackers, you know, whatever. We're relying on our four-man rush. So you do need good players there to shed. Now... Um, an ability I really like to have on my D-line if I'm basically relying upon them for pass rush is unpredictable. Um, unpredictable is a very cheap ability, and it's been effective for me this year. I've used it here and there. I personally prefer to use mostly acrobats, but if I do ever put a D-line ability on other than inside stuff, I've been using unpredictable. I think it's a nice ability. Um... You're not going to get pressure every single time with it. But, you know, it definitely does make a difference in, you know, me using it versus not using it. So I want to look now at how this coverage uh, effectively takes away a lot of the more popular things you see as far as uh, just standard routes. So, again, we're going to just pinch our D-line, spread our linebackers, base in line, but you don't have to. And then we're going to go ahead and put whoever we're not using, again, into the... Middle third. So at this point, why we're doing this is because we don't want to be able to get bombed. And I know it's not showing him in a middle third, but Burgess is definitely in a middle third. So what I want you guys to notice is against a play like this, which is notorious for basically hitting people over the top, bunch trail with the deep post. Um, normally, you know, if you just ran it against standard cover two, it would be a touchdown to the deep post. But because you know, of the way I'm setting this defense up, that safety is dropping down in that area that is normally vacated, and he's he's not giving it up. Now, here, you guys can see what I mean. Like, we got super good pressure here. Actually, our con uh, our contain guys shedded. Um, don't know if we actually put them on contains there. 
But they shed it super fast, as did one of our D tackles. But again, notice, they cannot bomb me because, yes, the safeties up top are split, but because we dropped him back in the middle, he's sitting right there where the D post would be. We got the cloud on the corner route, and I'm kind of just underneath watching the running back. So nothing really is open here. Now, again, though, this defense is very easily adjustable. If someone's hitting you with, um, you know, routes on the sideline and underneath, you can easily take that away. You can take away the flats and the sideline very easily. Or if someone's hitting you with a lot of seam routes, like mesh spot, you can adjust for that too. So if someone's hitting you in the flats and the deep sidelines, what you want to do is, again, what I said earlier, put your zone drops for flats on 30, curl flats on 5. Go ahead, keep your flats, and then put the vert hooks into um, curl flats. And you essentially have a double Mabel. However, if someone's hitting you with seams, what you can do is just leave these hook zones. You Use her one of them, whichever one you want to use her. And, you know... You can attack, or I'm sorry, make sure they can attack you so easily in the seams. So like here, you basically pick which one you wanna you wanna take away. Like, are we gonna take away the running back with our user, take away the tight end, and then we leave the other hook zone? So here I'm gonna choose to take away the running back because the running back is normally a little bit easier to hit. And you know, like once again, you're seeing that in this video, our D line is eating. That's why, like I said, probably the most important part of this defense is to make sure your D line is good rushing the passer. Now, admittedly here, honestly, like, you know, at this point, you know, it was covered decently. But if he waited, he probably could have thrown it in the seam. You know, that's why these routes are so hard to stop. Is that even though when it looks sort of covered well, and the running back, we took him away. If someone's patient enough and they know how to low ball, this route's so hard to stop. But, again, you can easily just go click on, go over here, you know, take it away with your user if you're really that worried about it. And again, we got a sack before they could even go through their first couple primary reads. So as you guys can see, this defense does a great job of not only containing the quarterback, getting pressure, but also stopping pretty much any route combo out there. As long as you know how to use your zone drops and your adjustments, you can, like I said, you can zone drop your flats, your curl flats, you can double Mabel, you can put this guy right here in the middle third to take away bombs, you can leave vert hooks to kind of help against seam wheels and seam routes. Um, and then also... If you guys want to stop the run, he, all you got to do is really shoot the gap with your user. Very, 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 very nice defense. Very easy to use. Very user-friendly. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Until next time, it's Duke.